said, um, our, I would say our data collection was our greatest challenge in, in this project. Uh, again, we were, as Pam said, we were targeting oral language and student dis math discourse. Um, so it was difficult to collect data about that while teachers were still teaching. Teachers tried terms of tallying. In some cases, they also used physical pieces, like giving cubes for students when they were participating. Um, we were also for whether we had to prompt students to use the sentence starters or whether they were able to do that independently. So in our first round of the cycle, we had a lot of questions and issues around the data collection um, and the ways to make that work while we were still trying to teach. In the second round, one of the strategies we tried for the data collection was to look at small groups. At that point, students had been introduced to the sentence starters, so they were familiar with that and were beginning to use them a bit more independently. So we were able to put students into small groups, and teachers were able to be more of an observer and could collect some data more easily that way. And that was um, worked well from kindergarten all the way through fifth grade. Um, I think in our third round, we were able to um, continue with that type of data collection, but also began to look at how we can open up some questions, which was another issue we were running into of sometimes the questions didn't lend themselves to much math discourse, so there really wasn't much for students to say, and we were able to some strategies for opening up the questions to allow for more math discourse. At this point, I think we're excited that we did see some success with the project. So we are working on scaling it up to use it more at a school-wide system and also within our district. Uh, math discourse and the math practices have been a focus for some professional development last year. So we'd like to see that some of the strategies that we talked about last year are being implemented. Um, and we are incorporating the use of sentence starters to promote some of that. Um, the way we're doing that to help with the data collection is to have teachers identify one small change they'd like to make that would impact um, the ability or hopefully the participation of students. Um, and they, we used a rubric to help them sort of identify some different stages they might work through or some different areas they could target. And then also collecting some um, information about student discourse using a rubric that was developed um, to see if the practice is having some impact on student, um, student talk. Um, we are going to be collecting that data through um, observers, through walkthroughs that are happening um, from two administrators and also from some peer observations, and then using that data to meet during grade levels every couple of months to sort of see where we are, to make any, to tweak and make any changes as we talked about, and then figure out what our next steps might be. Um, I think that the whole cycle has been really helpful for us. Um, usually when we implement professional development strategies, we do it and kind of talk about it, but there's no real data collection to see if it's having any impact. And we usually don't talk about as a group how we're going to tweak things to make it better or to see if we're even having any impact at all. So it's nice to be able to have the opportunity to go through the process in several cycles um, to see how it's working and what we might need to do to change um, and to do any revamping that we might need to do along the way. Thanks, Rhonda. I just want